Hello, hello, welcome back. Time to study day number 140. I'm turning the camera on again because I don't look like a complete bum. Uh, we got 12 new kanji coming at you. Uh, if you don't know how this goes, you're going to go over to gsho.org. That's A-I-S-H-O dot O-R-G. They will show you how to write kanji if you don't know how to write kanji yet. Uh, um, yeah, if you see a new kanji, you're going to write it down 10 times. Like, repeat it. Repeatedly write it down 10 times. Me too. Mostly, that's all this camera's for is to see a guy when it's over writing. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you see a word you don't know, but it's with kanji that you do know, still write that one down a few times. And if the word's only in katakana or hiragana, write that one down a few times, too. You want to get all the writing practice. JLPTN3. This is... This is kind of just the way I'm studying to remember all the kanji. Um, I study in other ways as well. Don't think that the 30 minutes that I do every day here is kind of all you need to study for the JLPT. Um, I watch Japanese television all day. Try to study grammar. Because again, the, the JLPT does not actually test your... Um, writing ability really it's just your reading and listening ability so if you understand the japanese you know it doesn't test you outputting japanese it's really just taking in japanese do you understand it um so that's really that's really all it is um anyway let's go ahead and get started our first word for the day it's gonna be something the What is it? Suchiru. Suchiru. Kyo no saishio no kotoba wa Suchiru. This is steal. Or to steal something. Suchiru. Suchiru. Jeet is steel or steel. Number two. Right here. Catch. Catch. Catch is dinginess. Miserliness. So, funny, shabby, or cheap. And also mean petty or narrow minded. Or. Uh, can also be bad luck. Stinginess or miserly is shabby and cheap is to find fault with. In on someone's parade. Catch you. Catch you. or badness. Number three. Three is going to be Otama. Otama. Otama either means a ladle or a hen's egg. Otama. Kanji that's used here actually just means jewel, jade, or ball. But um, in this context, with if you're saying it's otama, probably a ladle or a hen's egg. Oh. Yeah, Number four is going to be Kuzureru. Kuzureru. New kanji here. Kuzureru. Kuzureru is to collapse, to crumble. And also mean to get out of your 
body crumbling. To break down, your car crumbling. Uh, to crash is in this to slump. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think that's enough. Lose it at a. Our new kanji is this guy here with a mountain over two moons. A mountain over two moons. Um. I mean, one moon waxes and one moon wanes. Um, I'm gonna think of this as two moons like turning over as if as if it's the passage of time, and a mountain gets degraded over the passage of time, kind of like that Lord of the Rings riddle where he's like, "What kills mountains or whatever?" And it's it's time. We're gonna think of it as mountains are collapsing to time. Kunyomi kuzureru onyomi ho. Which means crumble, demolish, or die. Crumble or demolish. Alternatively, to die whole. Kuzureru. Kuzureru. To crumble, to slump. Kuzureru. Fingers. Crumble or slump. Get out of shape. Kuzureru or hold. Like I said, a lot of this stream is just me slumped over writing things. Super interesting. I'm hoping you at least get lists out of this. That Kuzureru. Kuzureru is to crumble or fall down crumble or to collapse who's it number five number five um mambo number five is a mono auto mono auto mono auto on the left side we have mono for a thing and on the right side we have a noise or a sound, and this mono auto is our sounds. Mono auto, things that you can hear. Mono auto. I've already gone over both of these kanji before, so I'm not going to go into deeper in these kanji. Go back to nations of this. It's not very difficult. Here, I'll do it for you. There's a two branch tree next to, I don't know, in Mono. And the Oto is standing on a sun. Because for some reason, down stands on a sun. I don't, I don't know why. Mono Oto. Mono Oto. Sound. Sounds. Number six. <clears throat> Ono oto, we got yoten. Yoten wo yoten. Yoten. This word is used by one of my favorite characters in One Punch Man, where he says, you know, somebody's telling him a really long story. And he goes, Yoten wo yoten. Get to the yoten. Yoten is the gist or the main point of whatever speech they're giving. On the right side, we have ten, which is a spot, a point, or a mark, which we've already gone over. On the left side, we have yo, which is a need, a main point, or an essence, which we've already studied in the word hitsu yo, which is need. So the main point, literal, the literal main point is the yo ten. Yo ten. Yo ten. Main. Main. Main.
Guten. Fist or the main point. Number seven. Guten. Sigi wa Jouten. Jouten. Ah, so this is not a Shouten. Sumimasen. Shouten. We've already studied both of these kanji as well. Jouten. I'll get used to the Japanese keyboard one day. Shoten is a shop, small store, business, or a firm. On the left side, we have Sho, which is selling things or merchant, and Ten on the right side is a store or a shop. Shoten is a small business or a store. Um, we've studied both of these. A Shohin is an article of selling, and a Kosa Ten is actually sorry that's the other point that uses this for for a crossing also ten oh ten there we go kissa ten uh is spelled with this kanji here kissa ten no ten a cafe is a consummation of tea shop but this is a shohin, which is a generally shohin store that sells things. That sells things. Shoten is a store or a shop. Business a business. Number eight. Not number nine, just number eight. After Shoten. Shoten to Shoten to Kekka. Kekka. Kekka this. Kekka uses kanji we already know to make the word for result or consequences effect I also mean coming to fruition using that second kanji this is kudamono no ku or ka which is fruit or a reward for something and our first one is a tying of or a contract which is which is kekkon marriage is the tying of marriage with the two kanji in marriage but this is kekkon no ketsu which just means the tying or binding part so the binding fruits of something or the binding reward for something are the results or consequences. Consequence. Excuse me. Consequences or consequences, effects, or come fruition. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine is Shiraga. Shiraga. This is a fun one. Shiraga. 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 Shiraga is white hair or gray hair. On the left side we have white. Shira. And on the right side we have ga or ka for hair. That's right. So this is literally white hair. Shiraga. Shira to. Ah. 
Shiraga. White hair Shiraga. Hiraga is white. Hiraga is white. Great translation here, no fancy stuff, but Gaga Gaga White Hair is number nine, number ten on today's list. Oh, this one actually uses a new kanji. I have to pull it off my stand here. Let's see. Oh, uh, number 10 is Amido. Amido this. Um, on the right side, we have the word for door, so it's some kind of door. On the left side, we have a new kanji that I'll have. Amido is a window screen or an insect screen. It's the. So, so radicals in this kanji, we've got a thread on the left side over here. Then on the right side, we have a pot lid over the kanji for dying. Red. I'm going to think of this as kind of that, like the mosquito netting that's going over a bed where you're sleeping, where you're resting and not dying. Let's call it that. This kanji's kunyomi is ami, as used in the word. Its kunyomi is mo, as not used in the word. This means a netting or a network. Red makes up this kind of covering over not a dead person, but a ami. Ami or netting or a net. Netting or a net. Oh, or. or a net. Netting or Ami or mo, as in an ami do. Keto net or a window screening. Ami do. Ami do. Tsugi wa adres jo. Adres jo. Adres jo. Su. Guy. This is an address book. We've already studied the word that means a passbook, like when you're traveling on a train, a passbook. The tsuchio. But this is an address book, so it's an address chio. Oh.
It is chill. Number 12. And our last one for today. We've already studied all the kanji for it. It's Kyokasho. Um, I've talked about this uh, on Reddit some with, you know, I like to browse the Japanese there just to kind of see what's going on with my other yeah stop hitting the enter button when you're done writing the <laughs> there Kyokasho is a textbook um, if I could say one thing about studying Japanese, it's that first things first, you have to get grammar down and you have to do it by using a textbook. If you're studying alone, it sucks, but I still think the best way to do it is to go through the textbook, go through all the workbooks, really get that basic grammar down. And, you know, my, my stream is kind of a level, kind of post-beginner, almost kind of intermediate level, I guess. So, I guess it's M3, it's exactly intermediate. Go by M3, though I would still call the N1 kind of intermediate when it comes to Japanese. Study beyond. Especially me, since I'm not getting any output in Japanese, it's all input. Um, oh well. So, one thing I could say for you if you're trying to study Japanese, get a textbook. Please get a textbook. Don't just go with an app. It's not enough. I, at, this, at this point in my studying, I'm just weak at words. I study words exclusively sometimes. Um, so, yeah. Get a textbook. Do yourself a favor. Um, because it answers, you know, all those questions that you have about, like, did I study next? Why don't I know the words in this past? Like, it, it's tailored specifically for people who are just starting learning Japanese, and it guides you through what you should be studying next. I figured that was obvious, but apparently on Reddit, not so. Anyway, let's keep moving on. Kyokasho is a textbook. Kyokasho. First kanji, kyo, is for a faith or a teaching. Second one is ka for a department, a course, or a section. Do gaku no ka. And sho for a rank. Faith or doctrines, sectional or course, right. All right, let's go back to the top. Make sure we've got them all memorized, at least for right now. Have steel, which is just a miserliness or stinginess, which is ketchy. Ketchy. A hen egg is utama. Tsugi wa kuzureru. Kuzureru is to. Mountain collapses due to the time or the Zureru. collapsing or slumping. Sounds are mono oto. Oh. Mono oto sounds. The gist of the main point of something is the yoten. Yoten no yoten. Point, please. Yoten. Tsugiwa, a shoten, is a selling shop, business, shoten. Different ten using very similar strokes. Tsugiwa, shiraga. Shiraga is right here. Right order. 
らが。次は、a window screen or insect screen, which is an amido. Amido is the, I think they're, they're referring to specifically a screened door. But、uh, I think if you wanted to talk about the net itself, it would be.、Okay. Um, like if it's not the door, but it's just the screen that's around your porch, that's probably just Ami.、Um, but we'll have to ask in Japanese. Ami door. Wa address cho. Address cho. And our last word for today was kyo kashi. Kyo. Ah. Of course. Writing.、Uh... Thanks for joining me this afternoon. Evening? What is today? Evening, right now.、Um, I'll see you guys in just a bit. I'm probably going to hop on the stream with Zach. Maybe see what he's doing on the old. 3D、uh, printing slash、uh, modeling game. He's getting into that, so let's see how he does. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't know. Arigatou gozaimashita. Bye.